一个故事。同样是三十五岁就站上了世界的浪头，他的名字叫做 Evan Wolfton， 英国剑桥大学毕业的电脑工程师。他发明了世界上面最小也是最便宜的个人电脑 Raspberry Pi。有多小呢？它跟信用卡一样大。有多便宜？二十五美金，差不多是七百五十块台币。Wolfton 他在剑桥工作的时候，发现过去十年申请去读电脑工程系的学生人数居然下滑了一半，而且这些学生他们的城市设计能力远远不如上一代。他很忧心，科技产业很快就会出现人才荒。他认为问题出在于今天的电脑都太厉害了，反而无法去吸引年轻人去改造电脑、去改写城市的兴趣。他希望可以再一次带动像八零年代的电脑 DIY 的风潮，所以他发明了这个很便宜又可以让玩家去拆解、去组合的迷你 PC。我们来看看他的故事。这是全世界年纪最大，而且还能动的数位电脑，一九五一年出生。但我们都知道，今天的科技趋势是越小越好。譬如大小跟信用卡差不多的电脑，它叫做 Raspberry Pi。它不但是世上最小，也是最便宜的 PC， 一台二十五美金。麻雀虽小，五脏俱全，一般电脑的功能它都有。上网用 USB 连接滑鼠，键盘就可以处理文书、玩游戏，连播放高画质的视讯都不是问题。Okay, so we're going to put it together and boot it.、Um, first of all, display connector. There's in the back there.、Um, then we want to have mouse and keyboard into the USB. Now we need to put a、uh, add the SD card. This is this stores the operating system image and all the programs for the device. It's just a regular SD card. And finally, power. And this is just a mobile phone charger. That just goes into the end there. You can see red light comes on. You can see that the machine is starting to boot. Doctor Wooton is Raspberry Pi's founder. From the early 80s, he started to interact with computers. And the sorts of people who I was on the computer science course with、uh, were people who had been programming since they were eight.、Um, you know, the vast majority of people on arrival in Cambridge,、uh, you could assume that they.、Uh, Uh, they already knew how to program several machines. 在那个资讯起步的年代，热血科技青年拿到电脑就立刻拆解再改造，就连作业系统也自己来。只是随着品牌电脑平价化，笔电取代桌机，电脑 DIY 的精神今天几乎很少看见。By 2005, when I became a director of studies,、uh, what had happened was、uh, both our, our number of applicants had gone down. We'd gone from a kind of traditional Cambridge level of competitiveness. Uh, of you know, sort of the best part of 500 people、uh, applying for maybe 80 or 90 places、uh, to under 250 people. So we'd seen this kind of precipitous decline、uh, in the number of applicants, and at the same time, the kinds of things we could rely on knowing how to do had become much, much simpler. 忧心电脑工程师的值跟量都在下降。Dr. Wooten 认为，问题出在今天的电脑都是太容易使用的傻瓜电脑，人性化的操作界面反而让年轻人对电脑的软体硬体了解越来越少。And this is, this is really bad.、Uh, it's bad for the kids, and then it's bad for the university, and then three years after it's bad for the university, it's really bad for industry. You know, go into a Um, computer company now and look around to see how many twenty-something-year-olds there are. There are not enough. Wolfton 所提出的解决方法就是这个：便宜到玩坏不会心疼，小到可做各种实验，而且非得动脑才动得起来的超级迷你 PC. It's quite fun. 剑桥的小学里头，课堂上的孩子聚精会神地玩起 Raspberry Pi。小朋友看到主机板的结构都好奇极了，很快就学会简单的城市语言。原本设计给孩子的学习工具，没有想到一推出就轰动了全球的科技迷。第一天订单就十万，第一年销售即将突破一百万。同一时间，在 YouTube 上头已经可以看见很多身怀绝技的高手们秀出自己的改造计划。譬如这个潮男，他做了一个红色复古的迷你电脑。It has built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It has a high-capacity laptop battery that goes through a Dell D600. 航天爱好者把 Raspberry Pi 装进覆盆煤造型的塑料泡棉，并且连接探空气球升空，遨游天际，带回来很多漂亮的照片。而这一只会帮主人倒咖啡、送点心跟打扫的机器人，居然还会打字。翻开它的脑袋，里头就是一张二十五块美金的 Raspberry Pi。
大人们玩创意 ，Wooten 则希望透过 Raspberry Pi 激起小朋友对电脑工程的兴趣。People often ask us what would be success from the point of view of Raspberry Pi.、Um, really modest. Success would be another thousand engineers a year. Another thousand engineers a year would make a, would have a transform in this country. Would have a transformative impact on on industry, and it would have a really transformative impact, I believe, on the lives of a thousand people a year.